Greetings, traveler. I'm going to discuss how lies or, fo or false narratives become the truth, or the truth that is accepted in society. Um, so I made this chart to illustrate what I mean, this very beautiful chart, as you can see. So the, I have this hypothetical scenario here that let's say a hundred years ago, before, you know, color uh, photographs and stuff, uh, the, the White House was painted in a different color for a brief, brief period of time. And some people uh, claim that it's red, it was painted red, and others claim that it was painted blue. And here we have um, Johnny, the celebrity. He's a popular and trusted guy. And he claims that it has been painted red and he has like um, access to like the newspapers and the radio and stuff. And he can distribute his message to thousands of people. And since they, you know, trust him, they know him. So they believe in what he's saying. But in truth, the house, house was uh, painted blue and there were like, you know, a handful of, you know, few dozen of eyewitnesses and they tell their story to like uh, just dozens of people they're regular people and they know the truth but this uh, Johnny the celebrity is lying for whatever reason he is saying that the, the White House was red so anyway these people these regular people they tell like their friends and relatives and whatnot like ah, yeah that the, the White House was painted blue, and then they're like, okay, I wasn't there, so I don't know, okay, I trust you. And, and but then uh, they try to, but but on the other hand, at the same time, like uh, the, the media and whatnot, they are perpetuating the lie told by this single guy, single guy and, and like, you know, most, most of the people believe it. And when the dozens of people who have heard the truth try to tell them, thousands of people who heard it from the media or any official source, um, they of course ignore it, and the you know the truth um, is like you know stopped by the wall of ignorance by these people. And moreover, like maybe even some of these people who who heard the truth from these eyewitnesses. Maybe even like, you know, these people will change their mind like, no, it was actually red. Like, you know, this guy I know says it was it was blue, but, he you know, maybe he's crazy. Maybe he is lying because everybody else is uh, saying that the truth is that the White House was red. So that's basically how uh, I think many things work, whether it's relating to science or historical events, religion or social issues, that um, the thing that is repeated the most in society is thought to be the truth. But let's say now that, you know, 100 years later, uh, we don't have any color, color pictures of what the color of the White House was. So how, how could we, like, you know, try to ascertain what the actual color was and then we of course we have to like trace backwards from like the different sources um, of what people said like you know maybe we we can go to newspaper articles and like let's say let's say we go to Wikipedia and Wikipedia tells us that you know oh um, in in 1917 the White House was painted read for a brief period of time and then there's like some footnote like there were rumors circulating that it was a, a blue but these uh, have been dismissed as false information fake news or or whatever so then let's say that we are trying to figure out what the f truth was and um well, then we have to go backwards, see at whatever, you know, what news articles they were and what their sources are. And like, if we can be trace back the sources, maybe like, even though like, you know, vast majority of people who were saying it was red, they didn't really see it. They, and we, maybe if we can trace it back to this one guy, 
and then we can trace back even though there are less people saying it was blue but if we can trace it back to like you know these several different sources that claim to be eyewitnesses and also like there doesn't seem to be any connection between the with between these um eyewitnesses that they weren't related they weren't friends they probably never even met like uh, maybe they saw each other in the you know the event of painting the uh, the white house but like you know if, if there is no connection they they're not part of the you know same secret society or whatever then maybe it's like then maybe it's easier to like th then we can uh pretty much uh deduce that okay maybe uh this Johnny, like we can find out that Johnny the celebrity, he was actually bullshitting and the White House was painted blue as this, this you know, minority of people were saying, oh, but well, the, the, actually the majority in this case, since this was the one guy who perpetuated the lie. But anyway, and this, this is my point that, you know, this is how many things in society uh, become accepted as the quote unquote truth because it's simply because a lot of people say it and of course nowadays the the mass media says a lot of things and people just believe it because well that's the what the media says but it's often not the actual truth and um and like you know just in in theoretical terms for like uh, you know, even for even millions of people to believe a lie, you basically need only one person to lie, and you know, one person tells the lie, and if it's convincing enough, and he has enough, you know, power and clout behind his name, then he can make most of the world believe his lie. And like uh, you know, to take a few example, like a. Uh, JFK assassination is a topical issue like I don't know who this guy JFK was I, I, I thought he was like some pop singer or something and then he was like you know he died because Donald Trump is like racist and homophobic or something and he was killed by of course Lee Harvey Oswald because that's what the media still seems to be perpetuating that you know he did it alone even though there's loads of evidence when you look into it that no, he, like he might have had something to do with it, but he certainly didn't do it alone. He wasn't a, a lone nut. And like just this interesting fact that, you know, I wasn't looking for JFK assassination, CIA or anything like that. I, I was just looking for J, like jfk files or lee harvey oswald or something and and many of these media organizations are saying that oswald cia link totally unfounded uh and like yeah he had uh, lee harvey oswald had no links to cia yeah according to newly released u.s documents and uh like here too like um New document said that claims of a connection between Lee Harvey Oswald and the CIA were totally unfounded. Um, but I found this interesting. Like new release contains 1975 CIA memo. New release contains 1975 CIA memo denies any conceivable link. Yet many documents in latest batch are still heavily redacted. So, okay, maybe some of these heavily redacted uh, documents contain proof of CIA link, but clearly they have some sort of agenda here. But this is just, you know, one example of like, you know, the media has been for decades just saying, yeah, it was Lee Harvey Oswald, and if you say anything else, you're a. Uh, crazy conspiracy theorist or you know whatever but uh you know and similar method like th this method can be 
apply like why you know so many people believe in feminism like you know the wage ca- gap or, or whatever because well the media is repeating it and the you know university professors they're repeating it and and whatnot so uh so that's certainly one example of how you know let's say half truth half truth at best become the truth and uh like uh even like religion this sort of stuff um can like uh be applied like uh in like let's say the the bible says one thing but then the church says another and a lot of people will believe what the church says instead of reading the bible and you know because well that's just how most people are they they like to believe the person in authority or you know the guy they trust the guy they like instead of you know figuring things out for themselves and um to address another issue that well annoys me and i've heard many times like um you know when they you speak of any kind of well any well particularly any kind of conspiracy but just any lie that is perpetuated in public some people say like oh it it it, it has to be true because like if it was false if it was a conspiracy or something um you know thousands of people would have to know about it and somebody would have told us that it's it it was like this and well this is false because like i said for a lie to like perpetuate itself in society basically um only one person has to be a liar for others to believe but of course like in practical sense like uh let's say something like um 9/11 you know claiming that 9/11 was an inside job or the moon landing was hoaxed like of course i don't think there could be only one person behind this uh conspiracy to you know have this false flag uh, f- false flag attack or like a false moon landing event but i guess it has to be like a, a dozen of people who know about it but there is of course this thing called um compartmentalization that well i think both corporations and military organizations certainly practice like um you know in second world war um when the allies were planning the assault in normandy to you know take back france and kick germany's ass and stuff i don't think that the allied generals told all of their grunts and you know privates where they're gonna you know land and what day and 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 all of that because of course they they want to contain the information so the same goes for any kind of like you know well that is basically a conspiracy like war um includes conspiring and you know let's say that let's say that the french government was conspiring to per, uh, perpetrate a false flag attack on their own people on christmas eve and they're gonna like a, a dro- drop a oil huge oil tanker from orbit into the center of paris killing thousands of people and once that has happened they will blame south korea for it so they can start a war with south korea like you know let's just say that they were planning this also believable scenario like obviously it's a quite a complicated affair to arrange to drop an oil tanker from the orbit and have it land in the center of this you know one city so i think they ha- have to have a lot of people working on it but i don't think that you know all of the people involved would know exactly what they are doing they are just you know following orders and maybe they are told you know half truths or lies about what they are doing that's how it works like you know manhattan project that's a you know famous example of compartmentalization not everybody who was working on it knew that they were working on an atomic bomb or anything 
and also there is of course such a concept as disinformation and this is especially relevant during wartime because you don't want your enemy to know your plans so you will also like so disinformation and so maybe Johnny the celebrity was um, sowing disinformation on purpose for whatever reason in this hypothetical scenario and of course that's a thing as propaganda exists to me this is very obvious and I feel a bit silly even saying all of this stuff but what I see in uh, how people tend to behave they don't really realize these things for themselves like not all not all people uh, that you know just because quote unquote everybody seems to believe something or because the media or the experts or the government or whatever are saying something it may not always be true there are many reasons may, maybe they're mistaken maybe they have vested interest in perpetuating a narrative or maybe you know maybe they yeah there's many reasons for people to lie and sometimes like not all, always but sometimes lies get um through and they become the so-called truth and um, that's not, of course, to say that, you know, I'm saying, oh, you should always, well, yeah, you should always distrust pretty much any source, like, you know, check things up for yourself. But I'm not saying that, you know, like somebody might go the other way and say like, oh, yeah, whatever the government says is wrong. But like, you know, whatever this, you know, blogger or YouTuber says is truth. Like that's, of course, like, you know, also, let's say the small people could uh, perpetuate lies like you know it might be the opposite that maybe maybe Johnny the celebrity was actually telling the truth but then there were these few random people who were saying it was blue maybe they were just screwing with people to have a laugh or maybe they have a vested interest in perpetuating the lie of course the reverse could be true too so this is why you should double check your information and and whatnot and once again this should be obvious but based on well the state of the world and affairs in general it doesn't seem to be so obvious to a lot of people they just seem to believe whatever whatever their favorite source of information says whether it's the you know mainstream media or their favorite skeptic youtuber or their political pundit or whatever like there are a lot of lies in society in different aspects of our society and the only way to uh, fix things is to expose them and stop believing the lies